What's up next on YapTube? The Gentle Criminal. All right. The symbol of peace. Many a hero will no doubt be recorded in the history books thanks to their notable exploits. That's true. There's going to be like live video of their exploits as well. The what is he after? Notoriety? The superhuman society worked in absolutes. Back when the distinction between hero and villain was still vague, there was chaos. Interesting. But there was freedom. Okay, so here. <laughs> May I delight you with a smashing new adventure? Yes, please. This is interesting. The hero and villains label in the show is super complex and there's so many elements to it. One of the weirdest ones is like the legislative element to it where there are certified heroes and I guess by extension, somehow certified villains or like official villains, if that makes sense. But who gets to decide, right? You can imagine some obvious issues there because all it takes for things to go horribly wrong is just to have the wrong people making that choice and to have the wrong people in charge of providing the licenses and making that distinction or using it for selfish ends or just being way too overreaching. But only the Sith work at absolute right has the upload been completed yep you bet it has the account was deleted again oh my god youtube strikes again i mean you have to video. that is a lot of work right then shall we discuss the finer points of today's shoot why do i feel like i'm gonna end up rooting for this guy i appreciate the fact that they're showing the darker side of, of video uploading he's just lucky he doesn't have to deal with copyright issues this is one of the most compelling character introductions and backstory i've i've gotten in a while the last time i was just moved was was that guy who was crippled by debt after finishing this cup Elegantly savoring each and every sip. It's the only way to drink a cup. My darlings, do not jump to conclusions. I am not committing crimes at random. Keep an open mind, people. I recently robbed JSTOR, the largest convenience store chain in the nation. The chain or like one, one location? Is suspected of mislabeling said dessert and forging its expiration date. Oof. I mean, expired food is no joke. I am the modern day gentleman thief. And he also has text. He has great text. The JSTOR video should be racking up views, but it's barely being watched. People on the internet never have know. no taste. You never know. You never know. should go viral. <laughs> if you always That's blame others, then you will never live up to your fullest potential, La Brava. Wow, I love that. What a great YapTuber. Then suddenly this stain guy steals all the glory with the video of his stupid Ooh, little Ooh, they're like anti-stain. I love it. Very, very interesting. Extreme and violent actions do seem to fascinate the barbaric masses. Oh no, we're getting into the judge judgmental zone now. We're getting into some judgments now. The scant notes on my own videos are far from encouraging. <laughs> I'm rooting for you, gentle. <laughs> His crappiness stresses me he out. He should really ramp things up. Show us La Brava! Ha! Ooh, La Brava's got an audience. But I refuse to be gutted by these impertinent comments, La Brava. That's right. Keep your eye on the dream. I'll target the place that's responsible for this age of heroes. Soon, uh -oh. everyone will know my name. The, wow, wow, not even gonna wait, wait, cult oh wait, hold on. Give give me a chance here. It's time for the fun culture festival. <laughs> I don't know. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff about Gentle. It's super funny. Like, I didn't expect him to be so relevant to my life, but here we are. YouTube and social media is a very, very, very strange thing. What creates some of that weirdness is the way we use social media sort of only shows us a snapshot of the entire ecosystem. For example, one thing I think I didn't know until I started doing YouTube is just how large the pool of people who are unsuccessful at YouTube is. There are just a staggering amount of, of people with channels who are not gaining any traction. It's sort of like how if you were, you were going to swim through the ocean, you'd be looking for whales right but the vast majority of of the weights of life in the ocean would be like plankton or something like that you know what i mean and i noticed that being in that place can cultivate some sort of weird sentiments from the people who are trying to do this like a lot of people seem to think they are owed something like because they're making videos they deserve views or that people have to be watching which in my opinion is sort of a mistaken way of thinking because no one owes you anything just because you've chosen to do a certain thing right and along those lines what you see a lot of the time is when people fail to gain traction they blame others like they blame the world as being stupid you know like the world is so dumb that they'd rather watch this trash content over my quality content. I'm the judge of good quality, right? I'm the judge of what people should be watching. And everyone else, like the entire world, the entire YouTube ecosystem is full of fools. It's just too easy. It's too judgmental and it requires no growth. A more robust view, in my opinion, is just the understanding that success in anything or just being a person in the world is probably going to be a mixture of what you are and what your best traits are and you putting your best things forward and also what the world actually is and what other people actually are without judgment and this is not limited to youtube this is just thought in general right it's like why are people so stupid why can't they see what i see but i think in most of those cases actually it's something that the individual is not seeing it's not something that society is not seeing most of the time it's either that the truth is somewhere in the middle or that what you think is important is only a small fraction of the equation and there are other things that are are important as well which is why this thing keeps emerging if something keeps emerging if there is such a powerful force in a certain direction it means there's something core there there's something essential there that's more powerful than the individual that's more important than 
one's own personal tastes. And that is a lesson. That's information to be extracted. That's the really like nuanced view, in my opinion, not I'm so smart, everyone else so dumb. There's a reason why Stane gripped everyone and why he's not gripping everyone. But I think to his credit, it's awesome that he's able to keep his eye on the prize because most people don't make it. Most people get discouraged because they they can't adapt or they can't take the pressure. My first video, my first reaction video actually on YouTube had something like 75% dislikes to likes ratio. People cursing me out, calling me names, yet it didn't stop me. In fact, they told me I was onto something because it was the greatest response I'd ever received. So I'm like, if I just tweak this, if I can get the same emotion, but do it in a way that's better. And I don't mean better for others. I also mean better for myself because I also didn't like that video. I was dishonest in it. Maybe I'm onto something. And so the fact that he's getting these hateful replies means he's close. So I am rooting for him. I am rooting for him. I want him, I want him to be successful on Yaptu. <laughs> Is that weird? But like, please don't harm any of my friends. I love them. We'll handle the school festival prep while you catch up. We have like so many Everyone comes together. To Everyone costumes, pulls together. Bakugo lurks in the back, we should do but it's also part of the trendy. group. Speaking of YouTube, class 1A from the hero course is doing a concert and it's What's this guy's quirk? Jaw general studies. Oh my god, talk about egotistical. Egotistical? Wait, what did he just I'm so lost. Oh my god, talk about egotistical. Egotistical? What is wrong with me? What did they do after getting attacked by villains? They went to a summer camp where of course they got attacked again. This is not pulling together. This is not pulling together. Even though it was their fault. You're going to be Changing your tune when you see this dance performance. Anyone play bass or drums or anything? Okay. <laughs> you got your work cut out for you. Parents made you take music classes when you were a kid? Huh? Whoops. Oh, perfect. Really? Awesome. Band leader Bakugo? Right, I bet the drums are too hard for you. <laughs> oh, damn. Unexpected wow. talent makes Bakugo all, all the cooler. He's so good. I am as twinkling. Bakugo's gotta be our drummer! It's just so amazing the power that that has, like, finding out people's hidden talents. It's just an immediate game changer. We're doing this because we want to let the other courses blow off some steam, right? But we're the ones who caused their stress to begin with. So we're just trying to make ourselves feel better. This is gonna Oof, seem like a slap in the face from the people that hitting. can't stand! Perhaps he's right. Did we think this through enough? It doesn't mean you can't do it, but you gotta contend with this idea at least. Why do we have to be so concerned about how these weaklings feel? <laughs> how do you really feel? We're here to fight! If we're gonna put on a show, then we can't hold anything back! Let's murder everyone in UA with killer music! <laughs> That's so good. I mean, I gotta say, he's got a really good point. It is sort of weird to like, hinge everything you're doing on like, the approval of other people. I don't think they're being wrong or selfish. I think they actually do want to do something nice, but they should also want to do it because they want to do it. Otherwise, it's, it's a recipe for all sorts of weirdness. At the summer training camp, Bakugo was kidnapped by the villains. And ever since then, he's been carrying that burden with him. Very absurd from Ida. What's our next move going to be? I'm dying to know your brilliant plan! Attacking UA. If history repeats itself as it is wont to do, next month there will be a festival at a certain <laughs> the school. The school festival. This should be dramatic. If I show I'm capable of sneaking past their defenses, then I'm sure it will be a headline-worthy game. Who knew these defenses would become so important? Okay, so does that mean everybody else will be dancing? Hmm. I'm not really sure this is enough to get the audience excited. Give Ida hand choreography responsibilities. Special effects? See, they use sparks and streamers and a disco ball to fire everyone up! We gotta be extra- We got Ayama's twinkling. Bakugo's fire. Tape guy's tape. <laughs> Kirishima chops away at Todoroki's ice and sends Right, we got ice effects. Maybe this, like, childhood exercise. Kindergarten exercise was... Preparation. Yeah, Ayama has a disco ball is perfect. I was born to do this! <laughs> Please, he embraces it. You can imagine someone else in that situation getting self-conscious about being used as a disco ball, but not Aoyama, who was born to twinkle. We'll have to have a crew working behind the scenes to pull this off, though. We finally made up the classes we missed during our work studies. Now we can help out for real. For I got big news for you. You're going to be the cleanup crew. Bakugo on the drums is kind of a... Awesome idea? Who'll be singing? Isn't that the most important thing? Well, we haven't figured that part out yet. Huh? Doesn't it have to be you, Jiro? Uh, it does. It, it has get to all be. The chicks. I could do it. Ooh, I kind of like that idea of Banana doing it as well. I'm a pretty awesome singer. <laughs> got captain of the ship, stand up tall. That is a great backup, but we're going to keep trying. I feel like Invisible Girl could use some spotlight as well. Don't be shy. Show us those pipes. We want to hear you sing something. It's got greater significance than just her singing talent. It's about her, her like coming of age. You know everyone. <laughs> but it just gets melted. Face blasted off. Waiting for the 
I like how she decides to show off her, her singing by doing the American National Anthem. Now, we need guitars. I'm thinking two. Oh yeah! How's eight? <laughs> Judging by the that intro screen. The guitar Why is everyone so damn talented? Rock band. <laughs> Your ukulele? My fingers won't break because of my character design! <laughs> very, very fourth wall breaking. Of course. Of course! Why didn't I see it coming? It's like that riff is speaking directly to my heart. To the darkness in my heart. I put down the axe when I was bested by the I F chord. Put down the, axe. the F chord is a roadblock for many beginners learning to play guitar. Something tells me he's gonna learn the F chord at a critical moment. You be part of the dance team if I can get a harem together? The school festival can't come through. Wow, she's really speaking his language. Dancers are popular too. We've got the band team. They really pulled this together, I'm and impressed. The effects team. And the dance team! Speaks to how good they are. I'm excited to see you to dance. It'll take a lot of work to pull off, but that's one of the things I'm looking forward to. Work? <laughs> Who is this kid? Feels like it's been forever since we had a chance to sit down and talk, just the two of us. Yeah, All Might really has taken a back seat. But even at that level, I couldn't win. In fact, if Aerie hadn't been there, I probably would have ended up dead. I feel like what he's saying is only correct if you take the most limited understanding of it. He failed to beat Overhaul in the way he intended to beat Overhaul, but he beat Overhaul by using the tools he had at his disposal. And he did it in spectacular fashion. Like, did he even see his own god punches? This even connects back to the YouTube thing earlier. You know, it's like the narrower your, your view of what success is, the more likely failure is. If he makes it more about what the goal was, which is what, saving Aerie, right? And who he wanted to be in that situation, which is being a hero, protecting people, and being someone that comes through, then he was a, a smashing success. Literally. In YouTube or any endeavor, it's like, I'm going to do it this exact way and people are going to love it. For me, unless it happens to work out, unless you're an absolute genius at that method, you're sort of setting yourself up for, for failure. You know, a, a better thing would be like, I want to be doing this medium in a way that I enjoy using it, in a way that gives me benefits that I want out of it. You know what I mean? I don't know. And this is not Deku necessarily, but people will often convince themselves that this sort of pivoting or this sort of open-minded approach to things is selling out. But for me, I think a lot of times what's at the root of that is something like fear of the unknown or just feeling overly committed to one course of action. Because it only feels like selling out, I think, if you're compromising values. There are multiple ways to be satisfied with an outcome as long as you like who you were in the process and like the results of that process. I couldn't do anything to counter Chisaki's long distance attacks. That being said, I, I don't think, think it's wrong to want to be stronger. But I don't know how I should fight in my current state when I still can't use 100% of my strength. Yeah, it's a legit thing to think about. Sounds like you're at a dead end. That's right. A plateau, maybe. A better way of looking at it. You need your own long distance attack. Interesting. But I'm already using my arms and legs. What else is there? But I think we should take this outside. Oh? To the beach, perhaps? <laughs> I'll meet you out there. At the beach. I'll meet you at the beach. You want me to use 20% here? I want you to go right. to the beach. Just go full cowling. It's cute that All Might learned his terms. Ah! Oh, the wind pressure. Power of air force. Let's take a look at the stages your training has gone through. The look back. First, use one for all at 100% on one part of your body. Right. Fourth, use shoot style, which utilizes your legs rather than <laughs> your weaker arms. This is the best innovation in my opinion. I appreciate the recap. If All Might was always at 100%, his every move would create shockwaves and cause disaster everywhere he went. Just it doesn't control. make sense to constantly be at full power. That makes sense. I mean, it makes sense in athletics too. What part of your body do you think you can move with the most precision? It was once my hands, but until I destroyed them 8,000 right. times. Okay. <laughs> Boost to 20%! Oh, damn, that is lethal. When you put it that way. That's a great instructional exercise. Once I master controlling exercise. my power, I can go beyond to the next stage. Nice. I mean, it makes total intuitive sense to me. Like, even with super athletes, right? Like, the goal is not to be at maximum power 100% of the time. In fact, I think one of the most important lessons in any sport is how to be efficient at that sport and to minimize the exertion of energy when it's not required. I recently got into badminton and, like, my first time playing, I was all over the place. I was like a sweaty mess. But the more comfortable I get, the more I'm able to relax and the more I'm able to be precise and pick my moments and save energy through proper location and placement and things like that. And as a result, I'm not burning useless energy. So this lesson makes total sense to me. It makes a lot more sense to me than the... <laughs> Let me use my feet! <laughs> Which is... <laughs> kind of weird, even though it's awesome. Everyone's nice here, I promise. A lot of people Welcome are nice. Welcome to UA High School. It's such a nice thing that they're doing for her. I really appreciate it. And and like I said, long overdue. What is the point of saving her, right? Or could you even really call it saving if, like, her fate was to go from one room, the dark room at Overhaul's house, to, like, a hospital room alone? I mean, one is better than the other because she's not getting reassembled and gaslit, but you get what I mean. 
Oh, another, another video, video from Gentle video. Gentle Video. Dearest viewers, do you drink different types of tea? Dearest viewers, can you please teach me how to pour a cup of tea? Try to contain your anticipation till then. <laughs> I mean, he's got a good eye for the dramatic. I'll give it to him. The question for me with Gentle is what are his actual motivations? Or how do his motivations break down? Because there's the interesting point he raises about things being too black and white and things being too reliant on labels of heroes and villains and that being somewhat arbitrary or perhaps too centralized. But this is also someone who does social media. And so how much of it is vanity? You know what I mean? How much of it is wanting attention. We'll just have to wait and find out. It's all coming together. We've got the band assembled. We've got the dance crew assembled. Ida is in charge of hand choreography, in my fanfic at least. And Gentil's gonna attack during the festival while Aerie's here. And also Deku learns a new move. So a lot of great stuff happening. Very looking forward to seeing the the, the practice. I'm sure there's a lot that'll happen there. I'll see you next time when Bakugo steals the, the entire spotlight with his drum solo.